today our topic is enzymes what are the enzymes enzymes are the most important group of proteins which are biologically active and increase the efficiency of a biochemical reaction and are specific for each type of reaction enzymes are composed of hundreds of amino acids joined together and coiled upon themselves to form a globular structure the catalytic activity of enzyme is restricted to a small portion of the structure known as active site the reactant which is attached to the active site is called as substrate before going on further about the enzymes please subscribe our channel for more new videos enzymes also have non protein part known as cofactors which is essential for the proper functioning of the enzyme the cofactor usually act as bridge between the enzymes and its substrate some enzymes use metal ion as cofactor like magnesium iron copper and zinc etc if the non protein part is covalently bonded it is known as the prosthetic group if it is loosely attached to the protein part it is known as coenzyme so an enzyme with its coenzyme or prosthetic group removed is known as apoenzyme while an activated enzyme consisting of polypeptide chain and a cofactor is known as holoenzyme so let's discuss about the characteristics of enzyme enzymes as the biological catalyst possess the following important characteristics all the enzymes are globular proteins they increase the rate of reaction without themselves being used up their presence does not affect the nature or properties of end products small amount of an enzyme can accelerate chemical reaction they are very specific in their action a single enzyme catalyze only a single chemical reaction or group of related reactions they are sensitive to even a minor change in ph temperature and substrate concentration some enzymes require a cofactor for their proper functioning an enzyme lower the activation energy of the reaction mechanism of enzyme action an enzyme is a three dimensional globular protein that has specific chemical composition due to its component amino acids and a specific shape every enzyme recognizes and reacts with a special chemical substance called substrate any enzyme react only with its specific substrate and transform it into product it is then released unaltered and thus can be used again and again an enzyme and its substrate react with each other through a definite charge bearing site of an enzyme is called active site the charge and shape of active site is formed by the amino acids present in the polypeptide chain of the active site of the enzyme The active site of the enzyme is made up of two definite region binding site and catalytic site binding site help the enzyme in the recognition and binding of a proper substrate to produce an enzyme substrate complex this reaction activate the catalytic site and the activated catalytic site catalyzes the transformation of substrates into products thus the enzyme after catalysis detach itself from the products unchanged and enzyme require the aqueous medium for its activity emil fischer proposed a lock and key model to visualize substrate and enzyme interaction according to this model as one specific key can open only one specific lock in the same manner a specific enzyme can transform only one substrate into product according to this model there is no modification or flexibility in the active site before during or after the enzyme action 
and it is used as only as a template. Later studies did not support this model in all the reactions. On the basis of new evidences, Koshland proposed its modified form. This is known as induced fit model. He argued that when a substrate combined with the enzyme, it induced changes in the enzyme structure. The change in the structure enabled the enzyme to perform its catalytic activity more efficiently. Factors affecting the rate of enzyme action First is the enzyme concentration. The rate of reaction depends directly on the amount of enzyme present at specific time. If the amount of enzyme is doubled, and the rate of reaction is also doubled. So the second is the temperature. The rate of enzyme controlled reaction may increase with increase in temperature but up to a certain limit. For enzymes of human body, 37 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature. So the next is the pH value. Every enzyme function most effectively over a narrow range of pH known as optimum pH. Extreme changes in the pH cause the bonds in the enzyme to break, resulting in the enzyme denaturation.